What's up guys, today's point of view tutorial number 7, freaking love doing these and today I'm teaching you guys how to frontside pop shove it. The frontside pop shove it is also a basic trick and it's pretty exciting because it's actually the last trick of the 7 basic skateboarding flat ground tricks. These are all regular tricks, not fakie, switch or nollie, and I'm not saying these are the easiest tricks to learn on a skateboard, but they do form the basics of flat ground skateboarding. I just think it's pretty damn exciting that I covered all 7 of them now. They're kinda like the mothers of all other flat ground skateboarding tricks. I always tell you guys to learn these basic tricks properly because once you continue skateboarding you'll need them for more complicated combinations or variations of these tricks. So for the front side shove it, a couple combinations that I can think of right away are front side big spins, ferial heel flips, you know even front side big spins to board slides. Before you learn any basic trick like the front side shove it, you want to be able to ride around on a skateboard. Try to make sure that you're comfortable on a skateboard in general. For the front side shove it, the only trick you need to be able to do is the ollie, and you can check out my ollie tutorial for that one. Also, you don't need to be able to do regular shove it's for this trick. Oh, uh, sorry, I mean backside shove it's. Front side shove it's are just as regular as backside shove it's, and I don't mean to offend any trick out there. All tricks are equal, and I'm not a trickist. Just want to make that clear because it's 2017 after all and you never know when YouTube starts to think that skateboard tutorials are controversial. Moving on. Before jumping right into the frontside pop shove it, I do recommend you trying fakey frontside shove it's first. Those are easier but the concept is exactly the same, except for the popping part of course. Now I'll be explaining how to frontside pop shove it but you can easily apply my explanation to fakey frontside shove it's as well. Just don't think about the popping part at first. So let's get into the foot positioning. Place your front foot next to the bolts, but place it a bit more forward than you would for an ollie. You gotta do this because when you're scooping the board, your front foot won't be in the way. You don't have to place it as much forward as you do for a heel flip, kinda just in between your foot positioning off the ollie and heel flip actually. Play around with your foot positioning cause some foot positions might feel more comfortable for you. Your back foot is gonna be on your tail. As you see, I also place it quite a bit backwards so I can really get that front side scooping movement going on. Please note that I'm not placing my back foot in the groove between my till and concave of my board, just right next to it, like really really right next to it. And if you're regular, it'll look like this. Now let's take a look at the movement. The movement I'm talking about in my videos is the movement which has to do with your board when you're jumping up. So this is after bending your knees. Step 1. Use your back foot to scoop the tail while popping the board. If done correctly, your board will start to make a front side 180 degree rotation. For this rotation, you don't use your front foot, it's really all in your back foot. In the video, you can even see my front foot is just going up and not touching the board as soon as I start to scoop. For all shove it tricks, you actually don't use your front foot. You just pull it up so it's not in the way. Step 2. Stay above your board. Watch your board spin and let your front foot hover above your board so you can stay in control. What's cool about this point of view is that you can really see that my front foot is in line with my board. It hovers above it throughout the whole movement. Step 3. Catching and landing. When your board has made a full 180 degree rotation, catch it with both of your feet and land. Bend your knees while landing to spread out the impact over your body. Remember that you want to do these steps while jumping up and really try to put some effort in your tries. It helps to practice these movements step by step slowly so you really know how to do it. You don't want to spend too much time on that though cause in skateboarding you learn more by actually doing it. Now it's exaggerated common mistake time. The first common mistake is that you will rotate your board behind you. To fix this, keep your shoulders straight while popping. Also keep your balance above your board while you pop and throughout the whole movement. Another variation of the same common mistake is landing it with one foot behind you. To fix this, use the same tips I just said. Common mistake number three is that your body starts to make a backside rotation and you'll end up landing with an angle. To fix this, try to jump up more and more straight. Focus on your board doing the movement and not you. 
One more thing I wanted to say is that this trick is definitely a little harder than a regular. Uh, I mean, backside shoving. So it might take a little bit more time to get the hang of it. Just remember that with hard work and dedication, you will be able to learn this trick. As for any trick, actually. Just put a big amount of hours into learning this trick. It's really just all up to you. Stay positive and you'll get there. Thanks for watching my last basic flat ground trick tutorial. I'm continuing this series because it's a whole lot of fun and you guys seem to like it. So if you have any skateboard trick that you want to have explained in this series, just leave a comment below and I might do it. The idea behind this video is that I'm teaching you skateboarding from your point of view. This is how you would see yourself learning these tricks and doing tutorials this way helps you to self-visualize. And you know, there are already a ton of regular tutorials out there, so I'm sure these different ones will help you out. Subscribe for more upcoming tutorials and regular skate videos. Peace out, skate on, learn your tricks, land them, go out there and just skate.